Hey there Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to update our tutorial on how to show or hide hidden files, folders, drives, and protected operating system files. What you want to do is start your file explorer up and similarly it works with Windows Explorer on Windows 8, 7, etc. And we want to go over here to view and then click over here on options. Once you're there go ahead and click on the view tab and here are your settings. Default is probably don't show, so you can click on show and click on OK. Or scroll down just a little bit and there is hide protected operating system files. And it is recommended you leave those hidden. And that's it. Click them, click OK, and you're golden. Now what we've done with this tutorial, a big update is we've created batch files. What the batch files do is they make the changes to the registry for you and then it restarts Explorer. So it kind of simplifies the process. So I'll provide a link to download this on YouTube. There'll be a little eye up here you can go to or in the description of the video. And download, click on download now. And once you have the files, here they are. Hide hidden files and folders, show hidden files and folders, hide protected, show protected. So you saw already that we had them hidden. So let's go ahead and right click and I don't know if I mentioned it yet or not the reason for batch files is it will make the registry edits for you and then it will restart Explorer so you'll see the screen flash and you'll see this disappear down here and come back up once that's done just takes a second you're ready to go let's show hidden files or folders right click run it as administrator go ahead and click yes watch the screen flash watch that disappear down here and comes back let's take a look view options view and you can see it now says show hidden files folders and drives now just for fun let's do the other one just so you can see everything works run as administrator yep flash comes back up let's take a look view options view and hide protected operating system files is now unchecked there you go. So either way you want to do it, the batch files just kind of simplifies the process. As you can see what happened there when I changed it back, I don't know if you noticed, I kind of click around a little fast sometimes. Let me show you. This is why we use the batch files. So I unchecked the high protected operating system files. Let's see here. Let's click hide. Apply. Okay, there you go. So it did it for me, but the batch files simplify the process for you. Either way you want to do it, it is completely up to you. And as always, you'll find some pretty cool similar links down here at the bottom for other neat stuff, how to restart File Explorer, crashes, etc. So there you have it. Uh, those of you who are on YouTube, click like, bottom right corner, and you can subscribe. And we appreciate you watching. As always, see you.